show now is uh, making a scarf joint on a 10 millimeter thick piece of spruce. Um, we're doing a set of layups for a spar that is uh, multi laminations and so we need to, uh, because the spar is over 26 feet long, we need to do uh, some uh, scarf joints in 10 uh, millimeter spruce. So what we have here is the jig that we created with the correct angle, uh, 1 and 15. Uh, for the slope and the um, router, we've created uh, a real big base that will ride on our jig. And then we have uh, just a flat cutting uh, router bit that we've only got uh, protruding about a uh, sixteenth of an inch. And we'll be able to uh, take the router and place it on our jig and move across our piece of uh, spruce, removing just a thin portion of the taper and then we'll loosen the clamps, move the uh, piece forward and continue that until we get a very feathered edge at the very bottom, uh, I mean at the very front of the piece. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so that's our first cut, and we've taken uh, maybe 3 30 seconds off of the piece. We're going to loosen the clamps and move it forward. What you can see now is um, we've got about a sixteenth of an inch left on our front edge. So we're going to take it real easy going over the uh, cut this time. And you want to be real sure to avoid any tear out. So uh, before you do this on your final pieces, be sure to practice with your router and find out uh, which, depending on which way uh, you've got it set up for turning, um, you want to be sure that your cutter isn't tearing out the wood. Okay, now we have our um, finished scarf joint, and uh, the distance is uh, 15 times the thickness, roughly six inches in this instance. We've got a nice feathered edge. We'll finish this with some sandpaper, uh, bringing it down to a very fine knife edge. You can use the jig while you're doing it. It helps keep the uh, wood flat, and uh, we'll be ready to go the next step, which is gluing up. <laughs> 